Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to topic 3.1.1, monomers and polymers from the AQA A-Level Biology Specification. So let's start with a look at our specification. We should know that the variety of life, both past and present, is extensive, but the biochemical basis of life is similar for all living things. We will then move on to monomers and polymers. We should know some examples of monomers and also know about condensation and hydrolysis reactions. So let's make a start. We should know that the variety of life, both past and present, is extensive, but the biochemical basis of life is similar for all living things. So we need to be able to define the terms monomer and polymer. Here we have the specification definitions which you'll need to be able to recall in exams. Monomers are the smaller units from which larger molecules are made, and polymers are molecules made from a large number of monomers joined together. Monosaccharides, amino acids and nucleotides are all examples of monomers. These monomers will be discussed in more detail later on in the specification. We also need to know about condensation and hydrolysis reactions. A condensation reaction joins together two molecules with the formation of a new chemical bond and involves the elimination of a molecule of water. A hydrolysis reaction breaks a chemical bond between two molecules and involves the use of a molecule of water. Great, that would be this first part of the specification covered. We know that the variety of life, both past and present, is extensive, but the biochemical basis of life is similar for all living things. We have defined monomers and polymers, and know some examples of monomers. Finally, we have also covered what a condensation and hydrolysis reaction are. That would be it for now guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe, comment, next time we will be covering carbohydrates.